Let's do an example calculation now of a one-way ANOVA. In this example, we have three levels. These are three different drugs, a placebo, Paxil, and Prozac. These are two SSRIs. They're used often to fight major depression disorder, and so that's what we're going to investigate, if these drugs are better than control. So our dependent variable is some measure of depression, and our independent variable has three levels, these different types of drugs, a control and two drugs. Okay? So that's the way you're going to get the data for the analysis, three or four uh, columns like that. And then I'm going to go, what's the one-way ANOVA? First step is you make a source table. It's just like the source table we talked about in the previous lesson, uh, the previous section, except I cut out the total to make it even simpler for you. Okay, and remember, you can't get any of these values until you get these two. So you got to get these two first. So the first thing to solve for is sum of squares between groups. And in order to do that, in order to solve this equation right here, you see we need the sum of x's and the n's. That's about all we need. So here's the sum of x's. We just sum all the x's up, 57, 33, 34. We got the n's for each case. We plug them into the formula, just like that. And we make sure we use the squares accordingly. We square here, and we sum these first, and then square there. But once you do that, you solve for SSBG and you come up with 46.083. So we have one piece of the puzzle right there. Now let's solve for a sum of squares within groups. We got to use this formula. For this formula, we have to use these x squares. So we got to make an x squared column. We got to take the x's and square them, just like we did with correlation. And so now we have these x squared totals, 435, 165, 184, and so on. And we want to add those to this formula, use this stuff from the previous formula, SSBG, do our math. We come up with 97.25. There you go. We have our second piece to the puzzle. The rest is easy. Degrees of freedom for uh, within groups is 21, 8 minus 1, 8 plus 8 minus 1, plus 8 minus 1. And we know that degrees of freedom for between groups is just k minus 1, so we can put the three groups minus 1 or 2 right in there. We're good to go. Now it's just this divided by this and this divided by this, right? That's how we get mean squares. This divided by this and sum of squares between groups divided by degrees of freedom is the mean squares. And then there's our ratio, 23042 over 4.631. And our F ratio turns out to be 4. 0.976. That's how you calculate a one-way ANOVA.